Hello again, friends. It's Nanny from Nanny and the Moose. And this is the little intro to the video about a homemade chicken pot pie that is just out of this world and you'll never buy another chicken pot pie again. I have the recipe and a demo and something very funny that in my decluttering last weekend of my kitchen, I found something very unusual in my mother's recipe box. So I hope you'll stay tuned and find out. Enjoy. To prepare your chicken first, slice two breasts into cubes, cook them or use pre-cooked chicken. I've added the celery and the parboiled carrot to the onion. And in a minute, okay, one cup. Actually, I have a little more than one cup. Now for the chicken pot pie sauce. One cup of water. Now it probably should have been a chicken broth, but since I didn't want to open a new box since we're going away, I used water and I put a little bit of my Emma Reel in there for seasoning. So I've one cup of water, one cup of milk, and my Emma Reel sauce, and half a cup of flour. I have whisked it all together. What you're looking at there is the uh, Emeril sauce. It should thicken up very, very quickly because of the flour. So now I will start working it. Ooh, this is gonna be good. And it's ready to pour into a dish. Look at the consistency, it looks wonderful. This is good, good. A lot of chicken in there, all the veggies are in there. I had to put it into a deep dish. Now the funny part. When I went to get some veggies out of the freezer, now it goes into a 400 degree oven and I think it's gonna bake for about 20, 25 minutes. I have to watch the crust. Just took my little ugly duckling of a chicken pot pie out of the oven and it doesn't look so bad now. You know, when I used to read the story of Humpty Dumpty to the kids when they were little, they felt very sad for Humpty when he fell and he couldn't be put back together again. So we always ended it with, and he got fixed all by himself. And that looks like what happened. It cooked for, I'd say 15 to 20 minutes. And it, it looks yummy. So we're gonna let it cool and see how Moose enjoys our chicken pot pie from scratch. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Here is my gorgeous pie. It went from an ugly duckling to a beautiful swan. Veggies and chicken in there. I am so happy it turned out. So, wasn't that chicken pot pie great? Next time I won't do a broken crust. I might even make my own crust because I have a recipe for that too. What I want to talk about today is something that I found in my decluttering from all the, the recipes and things, and I've done a lot of these on our channel as well, videos from my mother's little recipe box. And actually she has more than one. I have several. I have this one, I have another one like it. I have this wonderful one, which I'll show you. It's a little bit bigger, her secret recipes. But I found something that I want to show you that is so funny. I just have to share. Um, <laughs> this is an old, old piece of paper that she obviously cut out of a magazine. And on the top, it says, a dozen ways to trap a man or hold a husband. think this article really might have been serious about that. Now this is not sexual in any way. Obviously it's all about 
the way to a man's stomach, as they said, is through his taste buds. What do they say? What's the saying? Maybe somebody can put the comment down below. But um, there's supposed to be a dozen recipes on here. And somehow uh, the other page of the other half of the recipes got lost. But there are six recipes on here that I really got a kick out of and I'm going to read them. Okay. First of all, what do you think might be the top six things or recipes that a man loves? Try and think, they can be desserts or main meals or casserole or something. Think now, and if you have any suggestions, Put them in the comments down below. Not suggestions, but maybe your husband will tell you what his favorite meal is, favorite all time. Even maybe something that his, his mother made for him. All right, I'm gonna start with the top one. And actually it's one of my recipes that I have made for you today. And it's a homemade beef or chicken pot pie. Now, would you have guessed that? I do because Bill loves them. We have eaten chicken pot pies for years. We used to feed them to all our kids when they were little, but they were those little reasonable, little small ones that you could buy for maybe $2 in the store. But we've graduated up to Trader Joe's pot pies, which are pretty good, or even Marie Callender's pot pies that you can buy in the market. But we had a couple last week because I wasn't doing too much cooking. It's been really, really hot here in Southern California. Um, so I made my own from my mother's recipe box. And I have made quite a few recipes and put them, by the way, on our videos on our channel. You might. back and see some of the recipes um, from my mother's recipe box. Some great desserts too. And I found her chicken pot pie. Sometimes she would put beef in it and I remember these as a kid. And guess what? It is so easy. I'll get back to my list. Okay, give me a dessert. What? Uh, oh, your favorite, uh, your husband's or your guy's favorite dessert. Guess what it is blueberry pie would you have guessed sure blueberry the other one is a red cherry pie okay now we're three recipes down another one is a casserole and the casserole is a goulash i love goulash my uncle ed used to make a hungarian goulash in a pressure cooker years and years ago when I was living at home before Bill and I were married. And that was absolutely delicious. And the secret ingredient was paprika. Um, another one, an easy one, French fried onion rings. Now, I don't think I've ever, maybe I did make them years ago, once or twice. How many did I give you? Five. And the last remaining one is lentil soup with ham. And that's six of them. I wonder what the other six I are. I think if you've watched any of our past videos, you've um, probably seen that I am trying to start decluttering. Moose and I are 83, and we live in a little cottage, tiny adobe cottage on our youngest daughter's property. We have a huge family, six kids, 20 grandkids, 10 great grandkids, and we're surrounded by children. We uh, were trying to make the best of it during these COVID times. We're pretty well quarantined. The kids make us stay inside. We did have a six week journey up to Kuski, Idaho, where our son, Billy, has a ranch. He and his wife have a beautiful ranch up there. And they came down in the early part of May to get us away from Southern California 
and they came down in a, a beautiful big motor coach, picked us up. We had this wonderful adventure of a two and a half day ride all the way up. Please uh, subscribe and share and stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now. God bless.